Once upon a time, over 20,000 years ago, the angels would gather up at the peak of Mount Gaila to pay respect to the supreme god, Praiswan. After they had paid their respect, they would come down to the foot of the mountain, where a giant named Nontok would wash their feet, but that wasn't it. Nontok would get teased by the angels all the time. He'd get slapped, he'd get punched, he'd, his hair gets pulled, etc. Nontok is enraged by this, so he decided to go to meet Praiswan Iswan and ask for a magical finger, in which Praiswan agrees to give to Nontok, saying that Nontok has been a loyal servant for hundreds of years. But that wasn't it. On one fine day, the angels would tease Nontok again. Now, with his magical finger, the finger that grants him the ability to point death at everyone, Nontok took revenge for what the angels have done to him. He went on a rampage and it started assassinating angels all over the place. Praiswan was furious about this, so he decided to send Pranarai, the four armed god, to defeat Nontok. Pranarai decided to transform into a beautiful lady and treat Nontok and point his magical finger himself by performing a traditional dance with him. So Nontok falls for this and points the magical finger at himself, paralyzing him. Pranarai transforms back, surprising Nontok by the fact that Pranarai would do such a thing to get rid of him. Nontok taunts Pranarai and says that if he had four arms, he would be able to defeat Pranarai. So Pranarai swore that once Nontok reincarnates, he will possess twenty arms, strong enough to lift any mountain by will, and ten heads as smart as any hermit can be. While Pranarai will reincarnate as normal human, and they shall see again who shall be victorious. This is how Nontok reincarnated as Totsakan, the 20 armed, 10 headed giant, leader of Kumronga, while Pranarai reincarnated as Param, a human with multiple talents, and how the epic story of Ramayana came to be.